Hey guys, Kevin here. Now the other day I did a video where I did an audio test for my GoPro Hero 6 and I compared the audio between the default mics, the Rode, Rode Video Micro, the Shure VP83, which is what I'm using now, and a lavalier mic. Now all of that footage was recorded at 4K and 60 frames per second, which is what I'm recording with just now. So I thought I would talk about that because I think when you buy an action camera, when you buy, well, any camera really, but specifically about action cameras and phones, you know, frame rates and resolutions are big selling points. They're one of the reasons that the Yi 4K Plus this year sold a lot. You know, a lot of people were saying it was the first action camera that could do 60 frames per second at 4K. The new iPhone does that. The new GoPro Hero 6 does that. And... I talked about this in another video where 4K prob probably isn't the optimal resolution for someone using the GoPro Hero 6. The reason being that all the options aren't available to you. You may have noticed uh, in my video the other day with the audio test, I recorded at 4K 60 frames per second, but at you know in that mode, which is what I'm recording at just now, it doesn't have video stabilization. So a lot of the footage was quite jerky. Whereas if I had dropped down to 30 frames per second, I would have got video stabilization. If I had dropped down to 2.7K, I would have got the options of using linear mode. You know, all these other options would have arose. And whilst the GoPro Hero 6 can offer 4K at 60 frames per second, it is quite limited. Now, I am recording with it just now, but I'm stationary. I'm not moving around. Um, so it doesn't really matter, you know, uh, for that. But it does raise the issue as in what frame rate and resolution you should use. Long term, if you're uploading videos to YouTube or you know, even if you just want to keep it for yourself, you know, show it to friends or something, it is better to record at a higher resolution. 4K looks better on a 4K television, obviously, it does. Uh, it also means long term when people, you know, 4K becomes the norm, when 8K is the norm, and you know, 1080p, 720p resolution might start, you know, it might look a little bit dated, but it's not all about that it's it's also about it's also about being practical you know I, I would love to record every single clip at the highest resolution at the highest frame rate but the practicality of uploading videos editing videos and uploading them to YouTube means that recording at 4k does complicate things a little bit it does make things a little bit harder your file sizes are much much larger editing becomes much more difficult when I recorded that footage the other day I was having a lot of problems editing the actual video. Um, the reason being is simply that my laptop can't handle it. Now I've actually got quite a powerful laptop. A few years ago, knew it would have cost a couple of grand. To, um, it was only released about a year and a half ago, two years ago at most. It, it just blazes through 1080p videos. It really is fantastic at editing. And compared to my old I, iMac, it was processing and encoding videos probably about four or five times quicker. But when I started putting in 4K videos at 60 frames per second, it was really, really struggling. Struggling to the point where, you know, you were trying to watch the video in preview mode and, you know, it was just like jerking around. And it made it very, very difficult to edit the video. Now, I'm recording at 4K and 60 frames per second for this video, but all you have to do is really check the start of the video and the end of the video. And then after you encode it, you can then... Um, check that everything's okay but when you're doing lots of little clips and you need to piece them together it does become very difficult if you don't have a more powerful computer so yes it is good to record at 4k at uh, 60 frames per second but you're going to need a more powerful setup you're going to need a more powerful computer you're going to need more hard drives to store all these backup files and when you upload the file the file is going to be larger so it's going to take lot longer to upload so it's, it's trying to find that happy medium. You know, I think maybe 2.7K is the optimal resolution for the GoPro, uh, for the GoPro Hero 6. It's perhaps, you know, it definitely has the most options to it. It's got, you know, all the different modes and from an editing point of view, it doesn't put as, strain, as much strain on your computer. But it really does depend on your setup. You know, if I had as much money, you know, an unlimited supply of money, I wouldn't care about that. I would just always choose the highest resolution, but Realistically, those kind of rigs, those kind of laptops and computers that can process video at that rate very efficiently, they tend to cost thousands upon thousands of dollars. And 
there is a part, it's kind of overkill in a way, you know, there's a part of me that thinks it just isn't worth it. So, you know, if you're talking about action cameras, if you're talking about GoPros, if you're talking about any kind of filming, yes, a higher resolution is good, yes, a higher frame rate is normally good, depending on what you're filming, but you do need to take into account that file sizes are going to be larger, editing is going to, you know, it's going to be a lot more um, intensive, so you're going to experience slowdowns and believe me it does frustrate you you know it's the difference between spending 30 minutes editing a video and spending four hours editing a video because your computer's just failing so i guess my, my advice would be test test what your computer can handle test what you need to do you know maybe maybe in your type of video you have to use the highest resolution you know maybe you've got some sort of technology channel i don't know but I would say that just now 1080p remains the best uh, video, to, uh, the best video recording format. But over the next year or so, I, I think we're going to start seeing a lot more people. You know, well, there's already people uploading 4K videos, but I think the absolute minimum would be 1080p, and then you, you know we're going to see people move up to 1440p, 2.7k, 4k, etc. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. So please do leave a comment below. Let me know any advice you've got for other people. Now the GoPro Hero 6 that I'm recording with just now does have a better encoder. It uses the H.265 so it does reduce file sizes quite a lot a lot, uh, quite a lot over the, the previous one. I think that was 264. So that is good but everything I said does <laughs> remain true. Thanks for watching guys. Please do leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this and until next time, take care.